Sophia and this is this crafting. Today I'm going to be showing you how to repurpose old crowns into new fun shaped crowns. For this tutorial you're going to need some old crowns, as you can see we have plenty of those, some sort of mold to melt your crowns into. I've got a few different options. I've got these silicone molds. I've got a plastic mold of the Statue of Liberty. I hope this doesn't melt on me. We're going to see how this goes. And then I have something a little bit different, a cookie sheet with some cookie cutters. And I'm going to be trying to melt the crown into these. So hopefully this works. I also have some parchment paper. An X-Acto knife to help peel the crowns. If you don't feel safe using an X-Acto knife, you can just go ahead and peel the crowns with your fingers. You're going to need a microwave safe container to melt your crowns in. And then I just have this container so I can put my peeled crowns in here when I'm finished peeling them. Let's get to the video! You can then put them in your molds. And I'm going to put it on this pan so it's still together when they're in the oven and easier to get out. So squish them in there. There we go. So there we go. Now we've got all our molds onto our tray. So now we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 200 degrees. And we're going to have it on for about 10 minutes. Should be good. So now we just have to wait for it to preheat. Now that it's done preheating, you can go ahead and put it in. So now you can go ahead and take it out of the oven. And now we have to wait for it to cool. Now that your crayons are fully dried, you can go ahead and take them out of the molds. Be sure to do this carefully so that way your crayons don't break. and broken up my crowns into different colors and put them inside of my cookie cutters so they're nice and organized. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the angel and I'm going to pour the crown into the jar. So now we put our crowns into our jar and we're going to microwave it for two minutes, pausing it every 30 seconds to check on it. So now we're going to see what they look like. This is what they look like. Now 
are going ahead, go ahead and take out the statue of Liberty. Just carefully. Ooh, wow, she popped right out. She's good. Oh my. She looks like the chocolate bunny except Liberty version. This is the Liberty. I thought it came out really cool. If you do happen to have a really intricate uh, mold, it's really fun to make and really cool to see something so intricate. And they're actually, it's really easy to do once you just melt, melt the crayon. It's really easy to make. So personally, I like the ones made in the oven better. I, they're more colorful, and they were so much easier to make. Uh, the ones that you had to melt in the microwave. They were a lot more work to actually have to melt them and then pour them. And in melting them, you actually got all the colors mixed together. So you really got one solid color rather than many different colors. I also found the microwave really, really slow. So I actually ended up trying a double broiler, which was kind of the same effect. And um, I did try a blow dry a hair dryer. But I would not recommend that. It went kind of everywhere. And yeah, I definitely not recommend that. But um, whichever way you try, just have fun with it. I mean, they're just it's just a fun project to work on with a fun result. Also, with your cookie cutters, if you're going to be following that one, I would try to find um, cookie cutters that are very even on the bottom. So with this one, the bottom is very even, so it didn't leak out everywhere. But with the rest of my cookie cutters, the bottom, the bottoms are not even, so the crayon kind of went everywhere. So it was kind of messy. But I mean, if that's the way you want to do it, and you have cookie cutters, then go for it. It's still a fun project to work on. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye.